guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2, which is like Sly 2 Band of Thieves, or Sly 2 Band of Thieves, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, no, it's Sly 2 Band of Thieves, man. But anyway, where we last left off, we are about to battle the boss, which is the Bison, and Bitly, he's going to face the boss. So, this is going to be interesting. How will Bitly handle this? I'm shaking in my boots, so let's get started with the boss battle. Which lever I should pull? Lever. Flame up. Okay. Oh. Fire up. Okay. So, just aim for these. I think I can do that. Flame up. Missed. <laughs> Run. Flame up. <laughs> okay. Okay, this can't be this easy. I'm guessing those things will have to fake soon in the next round. Okay, well. <laughs> Come on in here, boys. I'd... Let's get this varmint. Uh oh. But seriously, you called me stupid. I mean, it took you a while to notice that it was me all along. Some four eyed turtle? Yep. Times have changed. Once again, brains triumph over brawn. Yay! That was so easy! Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You did a great job opening that door, man. <laughs> Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Alright. That blimp's on its way. Take a leg. So we got a minute to get there. Should be easy, right? So that was a great boss battle. I love it. 
Hustle up! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, good. I thought I had to do that. Because I suck at aiming. In the battery we go. Come on, Arpeggio. Shot complete. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. Wow. Talk about tension. Hmm. Well, since this was an easy episode, I guess we can start episode 8, guys. So let's start it. Which is. Atomic with Disaster! Adam on Egg, let's go. Episode 8. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. else to buy in Thiefnet before we go- oh my gosh, 2,000? What? Well, oh my gosh. So I guess these are the last gadgets I got. But look how much they cost. Mmm. So I guess we gotta wait to buy these. But do we have any loot? Only a sapphire. But oh my gosh! It's so creepy and scary! So we wanna play our slides. Let's go! Wow, are we just in the blip? There's, there's, there's clue bottles here. Oh, so that there's clue bottles here. Wow. This is unbelievable. Blip HQ Recon. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Hi, clue bottle. You're up here. As... <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. I heard of worlds that float in the air, but this is insane. It's like Ratchet Cooper. I mean, Ratchet and Clay looking. Oh my. Who's that? So you're still ways, huh? Okay. 
please don't mind me. I'm just exploring. As... Uh oh. Run! Okay, I think I'm good. I get the clue bottles later. The clue episode. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. What to do? What to do? Your footsteps. My. Oh my. Okay, so that's why I get there. Okay, game. Okay. I'm guessing I don't want to go on those blades. And I'm guessing this bird's searchlight is going to be a jerk. <laughs> and, I'm, and he detected me. So, um... Oh no! Just get it! Oh, hurry! Yes! My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Okay. More reconning. Or... Oh, I gotta go in there. That sounds... Simple, I guess. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna get through there. A dead end. Oh my! Break into the Blimp HQ. But how do I get to Blimp HQ? Hey guys! I found a way to get here. It took a while, but I found a way. Oh my. This level. Hi. This level is so amazing. Uh, uh. I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Sounds like a plan. A plan indeed. Oh my. Oh crap. So this level is out of this world. That's all I have to say. Let's get the spinning inducer thingy. If the lens will ever know how to focus. Alright, no, I'm just gonna wait for you to go here. Okay. Out. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Okay, so clockwork, the bad guy that we hope doesn't go alive. Fine. So, where's clockwork? Don't tell me I had to go in front of this guy. Oh, looks like it to me. Okay. Hopefully Arpeggio. Yes, he is. And Mila! There you go. Let's hurry. Oh, oh. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. He sure does. An egg. An egg? Where? I'm not in focus. 
Searchlight doesn't catch me. Okay. Ah! Oh. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Why? I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Don't tell me I have to go and visit the the parrot. Do I have to? Okay, do, I, do I have to? Neela? Neela's here yep. too! Mm. Okay. Oh, like a Peggio. There he is. The mastermind behind this flip and the source of all our problems. Indeed. And I guess we gotta take a picture of Neela. Why she's here? I can't believe it! She must have been working with Arpeggio all along! I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley. I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull Clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Manually. Okay, I'm gonna have to continue that later. So see you guys next time. I have last of us to stay cool, and we continue with part two of this mission. See you guys next time. Stay cool.